Hey guys, George Elias here, George Elias Presents, and today I'm talking about Walking Man. It, Walking Man was my attempt at making my own folklore, The Legend of the Walking Man. Um, it stars German Cervantes, great young man, great actor, has a lot of promise, a lot of potential, he's just a real nice guy, a great person to work with. And it also stars Isaiah Kane, very talented young man, a guy who has a lot of promise and a lot of potential as well. He's a, he's a very unique director and a writer. Uh, and so we had gotten together at Isaiah's place, and where he lived at the time anyways. And I remember, we, I, I honestly don't remember why we met up there. We didn't meet up with the attention to film. I, I remember that. We had met with some of something else. Something else was planned. And I happened to have my GoPro with me, which is the one I'm filming this on. And it just so happens that this idea, I had this idea, and I had discussed it with German, and Isaiah was there, and I asked him if he wanted to be in it. Isaiah was like, sure, why not? And, you know, so we filmed it, and we went to this bridge, this sky bridge that went over this, like, intersection that was close to Isaiah's place at the time. I remember I didn't have the best equipment for recording audio. Uh, what did I have? Oh yeah, I recorded audio with a uh, with an old iPhone that I used to have years ago. I remember we released it and people really responded to it. I remember they told me it really genuinely creeped them out. So much so that they wanted a sequel. They wanted to know more. And ironically enough... You know, I filmed a trailer, teaser, trailer, trailer, whatever, for a potential part two, but it, it didn't, it wouldn't come to fruition until years later. Um, and I believe it was two years later that I did the, the sequel, Walking Man 2, which I'll talk about eventually. But I remember when we did Walking Man, just people loved it, and they were really curious about more, and... They wanted to know who German's character was, who Isaiah's character was, what exactly the, the walking man is, you know, who is Raul Donahue, which is the name of the character of the walking man. You know, if you watch it, you can see all the, um, what is it called, uh, all the story before the film starts is there. So a lot of people were curious about it and they want to know who he was and why did that happen to him? You know, why does he haunt that area and whatnot? And uh, so the legend is basically the walking man can't do anything to you unless they tell you his legend. And once you've heard the story, his legend, and if he appears to you, basically what you have to do is you have to then keep your eyes on him. And you have to walk in reverse all the way back to the spot where you first heard the legend. And once you get there, then you can break it. You know, he'll leave you alone. But that's a lot easier said than done. You know what I mean? Having to walk all the way back, you know? Which is why German's character walks backwards, you know? And he's able to make it back to Isaiah's place. And, um... But the walking man also is a shapeshifter, as it's said in the film. The walking man has many abilities. Um, I know that I didn't really explain that in the film. I didn't have time. You know, we pieced it all together very quickly. Or I pieced it all together very quickly. And... But yeah... It, it's a fun film. I enjoy it. I thought it was, I thought it was a good time. It was fun. I'm proud of it. And you know, part, part two came out. You know, several years later, people told me they liked that one too. Um, would there be a Walking Man three? I don't know. That I don't know. You know, we'll just have to wait and see. But basically, that's the story of how Walking Man came to be.